Hey everybody, this is Scott Hanselman. I've done a series of Office videos, how to do this and how to do that in Word, everything from tab stops to uh, forms, and I'm doing videos that you are asking for. So someone asked how to do a survey in Office. So this is a little bit of a different video because I'm going to use Office Online. If you take a look at where I'm at right now, I actually just typed in office.com and hit enter and this gives you versions of Word and Outlook and Excel and OneNote all written in JavaScript. It's pretty cool actually. So we're going to do a survey. Uh, I'm going to click on Excel online and this is all in JavaScript. Again, I don't have to pay for Excel in this case. I don't have to do anything to get access to Excel. And Excel now in fact is on iPhones and Android phones and everything. I want to say new blank workbook. And it goes and it loads kind of like tiny Excel. It's kind of Excel Lite. Again, this is a browser, just to prove it to you. And this is all JavaScript. And I've got, you know, all the different kind of Excel-like things that I want. And when I say open or save as, that's going to open from my OneDrive. And save as will go and download it. But we want to make a survey. So I'm going to say insert, not table, but insert survey. I'm going to make a new survey. And you'll edit the survey here, and then each question will turn into a column in your Excel sheet. This is really, really useful for, you know, students or people who are doing academic research and you're trying to get a basic survey done. And we'll do it live right now. We'll make a survey, and we will tweet it, and we'll watch the data come in. So, first question. Uh, what's your first name? You know, subtitle. And I can pick... What's the type of the response? Is it text or is it in this case paragraph text, like a whole paragraph, multiple lines? We'll make it required, hit done, add a new question, and that's a new column in our little database. Type something nice. We'll make that one optional, so that's not going to be required. And then maybe we'll have a uh, date time. Your favorite date. We'll make that one not required either because I want people to actually do this. Now I'll say save and view. Here's what the survey is going to look like. But you'll notice back here we've got our column. So the data is going to flow here. Okay. So we're going to share this survey. We're not going to click this button. This share will go and share the link to the book. Like if I wanted to share with my friends or other members of my team. I want to share a link to the survey itself. So we're going to say share survey. Oh, looks like I don't have a title there. We'll go click again and say edit. Here is a basic survey for my YouTube. This is just a silly demo survey. I can share it from there or share it from here. And when I do that, I'm going to say create link and they'll give me a ridiculous looking link here. It's just a stupid long link. We're going to say shorten and that's going to give us a nice link here. I'm going to copy that, control C, hit done, and I'm going to switch over to Twitter. Hey, I'm doing a office how to video on surveys. Fill this out for me and it'll be in the video. Recording live now. Recording now. So I'm going to tweet that survey or email the survey or put the survey out there in the world and I'll say tweet. So now I'll come back over into Excel and I'm just going to sit here. Notice that I've got my Twitter link out there. Here's the link. I'll go ahead and answer the survey myself. Hit submit, and the response shows up. See how quickly that happened? Instantaneous, in fact. Let's see if people on Twitter do the same thing. Nope, I put a apostrophe there. I'm a bad person. So you can see that the results come in. There you go. They're still coming in automatically. So this is a great way to collect information in a survey 
directly into Excel. And you can have as many columns as you want. So now I can say File, Save As, save a copy of this workbook to an online folder, or I can go and say Open in Excel. Okay. Now here it says you can't edit this while other people are in the browser. So people are filling out a survey. I can't open this in uh, Excel proper. But once my survey is finished, let's assume that the survey is finished now, I can say save a copy as and then open it in Excel. Now at this point I'm breaking the connection between the survey and my sheet. I'm downloading a copy. So here's actual Excel instead of Excel online. And this is a copy in Excel. But you know, you don't even need to really keep it in Excel because Excel online does a lot. And honestly, they're pretty similar. Certainly Excel uh, full version, the desktop version of Excel is more advanced. But for the kind of stuff that you're doing, you can really get a lot done with Excel. See, they're still actually coming in. You'll notice here though, with line 22 there, this is a copy. We've broken the connection, but the survey will continue and, until I get rid of it or delete that file. So that is the easiest way to do a survey using Excel. Uh, I like it myself more than SurveyMonkey because you're really kind of working in Office where you're already going to be working anyway. Uh, ultimately, you might take this Excel survey and link it into Word and then turn that into a report that you might be doing for school. So be sure to check out my other office videos in this playlist here. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, but above all, what you can do to help me is you can give me ideas about what you'd like to see me talk about, and you can share these videos with your friends. Thanks a lot.